Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to my new reef tank. Um, I have a friend that lives down the street that set this thing up recently, probably six months ago, and he suddenly had to move for work. So he said, hey, you should buy my tank. So he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. So I picked it up. So let me introduce you to it. All right guys, here's the new aquarium. It's made by AGE. It's 96 by 30 by 27 tall. It has a PVC bottom. It's in a stainless steel frame. All the way around, it's Euro braced. It has armored seams, so don't have to worry about hitting the silicone with the blade. It's on a steel stand that's been powder coated. It has leveling feet. It's got plywood on the top and the bottom that's been stained and sealed. It has a modular marine overflow box. So currently I'm waiting on the plumbing to arrive. Once I get it plumbed up, I should be adding water soon. Um, I did have an electrician come out and I installed two dedicated 30 amp circuits, one on this side, one on the other. I also ran RO from the garage into the wall here so I can either use an auto top off, run another line for auto water changes or something like that. Besides the electrical, this is another reason why this build has taken me a while. This is where the Red Sea Reefer 525 sits. And on the, uh, it was on carpet. So I had to tear out the carpet and I tiled the floor myself. I tiled it with travertine. That way I didn't have to worry about spills as much. This thing is pretty tall. So I figured uh, let's do it right. It's gonna be here for a long, long time. Let me, uh, I'm gonna take you out in the garage and show you what I got going on with the rock. So the first thing I did is um, I did my aquascape, bonded everything together with stone fix, aquaforest stone fix. And uh, some of the overhangs have PVC rods in them or acrylic rods. So the rock has been going for close to six months now. I've been putting pods in here, I'm scraping coralline algae in here. I've added brittle stars. And uh, I've been using the Aquaforest uh, feet. It's not mud. What's it called? Um, I don't remember the. Oh, life life source. It's like a mud that's straight out of the ocean floor in Fiji. Currently, I'm skimming. I'm running a little bit of GFO. The rock when I first started it was leaching out phosphates. I was up to about 0.20 in phosphates, and now I'm sitting at about 0.05. I have six Springer Eye Damsels and a Royal Grama in here. So currently I'm running it just like you would a tank. I'm feeding daily. And hopefully this long, long cycle will help me avoid problems that I had in the Red Sea Reefer. Here's a couple clips of the um, Aquascape before I put it in the horse trough. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do the middle structures I might switch them around as shown in this video. I'm still trying to decide. But anyway, I was able to squeeze all this rock into that 125 gallon horse trough. The sump is made by Aquarium Engineering. It's PVC. It's a little tall to be under the stand because the person I bought it from had it in a fish room. The way the sump is set up, this is actually the return section, but there's a pipe that runs all the way through the bottom with the shutoff. That way I could run the pump externally. It's a Red Dragon Speedy Pump. Calcium Reactor is an aquarium engineering eight inch stacked. For the skimmer, I'm going to be using 
the Reef Octopus 300 external. Part, I've never run an external skimmer before, but because of the stand and the sump, there's not that much clearance. That's what it's gotta be, but I've heard nothing but good things about these skimmers. Yesterday, I installed the lighting. I'm using four ATI Stratons, super thin. Seem to be pumping out a lot of light. I'm fixing to check some PAR numbers. I know it doesn't have water in it, but I can get kind of an idea. For flow, on this side, I'm gonna be using a Panta Ray. It was also part of the package. And then in this back corner here, I'm going to be using a Ecotec MP60. So as far as the sump goes, there's really not gonna be a whole lot of equipment in here besides the heaters. But I do have two big chambers here that I can either run frags in or a real big refugium. So we'll have to see how that goes. But anyway, I wanted to give you an overlook of the new tank before I get any further. Next thing you know, I'll have water in it and I will have missed all the, all the documentation on the setup. So anyway, guys, that's an introduction to the reef. Um, normally I don't name my reef tanks, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I had a 12 year old Boston Terrier that recently passed away. She was here when I started the project and didn't get a chance to see it finished. So I'm dedicating this reef to her. I'm going to be calling it Maddie's Reef. All right, guys, that wraps up the video for today. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the tank, show you how things are going, and we'll catch you on the next video.